Hello, hello. How are you? Well, today we are going to practice with the word classification. And why is that? Well, we as young scientists lost classify things. We put everything into different categories to make it easier, the study of them. So, for example, how many different ways could we split these objects into two groups? Well, uh, one of them could be those objects that are made out of metal and those that no, uh, those that are sharp and those that no. I think I could make like 10 different groups. All right, pause the video and try your best, and then come back. Welcome back. So, how was it? Ah, it was easy, isn't it? Well, now today, after this little practice, we are going to see the biggest, the main groups that are around us, and those are living things versus non-living things. What is alive? What is not alive? Huh. I'm sure that when you see something that is alive, you say, hey, this is easy. It's alive. Yeah, sure. But what? Why? How do you explain that something is alive or not? Let's go. Well, first of all, living things are anything that is or has ever been alive. So, something that is alive or has ever been alive. For example, a log. This log used to be a tree. It, it was part of a tree. Now it's not a tree, it's dead but it was alive, so we consider it as a living thing. Non-living things. Well, non-living things is anything that is not now and non, nor has ever been alive, ever, ever, ever. For example, this bunch of pebbles, they are not alive, they never been alive. This is the difference. Easy busy. Now, let's go a little bit deeper. What are the main features of living things? How can we be sure that something is alive or has been ever been alive? Well, let's go. The first one, is that living things are born. They weren't here, they didn't appear, they are born. Like us humans, we are born. Little babies, oh, so cute. The next one, grow. We grow, living things grow, humans grow. We are born as babies, and we grow, we become children, and then grown-ups. We grow. Next one, reproduce. We have humans, we have babies, we have new humans, so living things are going to have new living things. That's the idea, reproduction. So we reproduce. Another one, nourish. We need food, we need nutrients. So we eat. Humans, we eat. The rest of living things, every, every living thing needs some kind of food. We need nourishment. The next one, respond to stimuli. Now pay attention to this. Stimuli is a plural word. Stimulus 
like in the picture, is the singular. Pay attention to this one. All right. But what are stimuli? Well, stimuli is are the things that happen around us. In this picture, we have an example. If somebody touches something that is cold, hot, very hot, oh, we're going to react. We have a reaction of something. If uh, we see some kind of danger that comes to us, we are going to try to jump away. All right, this is the respond to stimuli. There is a stimulus and provoke a reaction from us. Um, the same with us, the same with every living thing. Every living thing respond in different ways to stimuli. And eventually we die. Yep. Every living thing at the end end up death. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm afraid there is no much. So, let's sum up. Features of living. We are born. We grow. We reproduce. We have new living things. We nourish. We need to eat. Respond to stimuli. And finally, die. Bam, bam, bam. Game over. Okay, okay. Well, now you know the difference between living and non-living things. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.